Yeah, what's up, guys? You're just in here. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I had to turn down the volume on the TV a bit because, you know, I don't want to get in trouble. <clears throat> in trouble for copyright form. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Sam. What's up, guys? But I do have a serious topic to talk about today that is kind of different from what I normally talk about, but it's actually very serious. If you guys are wondering, I'm actually in the living room talking to you guys and actually watching Dexter's Laboratory on demand. I know, I'm old. <laughs> I grew up on Dexter's Lab, okay? Shows the shit, and it's funny. And if you haven't seen Dex, <clears throat> pardon me. But if you haven't seen Dexter's Laboratory, definitely check it out. It's funny as hell. You'll you'll love it. I'm sure most of you have, but I'm getting off topic here. But there is a serious subject that I do want to talk about, and that is why aren't schools offering, you know, classes that will help us? And it's something that I did mention in the past. You know, that is something that, believe it or not, dude, I did. I actually slept, like, all fucking night, all the way to, like, just a little bit ago. Like, I was out, dude. It's just, I'm a little bit sick, so my eyes look like I'm tired. But really, I'm alright, I'm awake. But there is something that I do need to talk about. Um, like, and one thing I just don't understand is why a lot of schools nowadays, they don't teach you, you know, useful classes like, you know, business, you know, marketing, how to buy a house, how to, you know, do investments, how to basically become successful like that's the one thing i just don't get like like i just don't get it dude like why the fuck aren't you know schools teaching this useful stuff because you know i was never taught any of this in high school like, you know, I was never taught how to market properly, how to start and run a business properly. Well, I've already got a business starting, as you guys know, my custom clothing line through two different shops. But, you know, they never taught me in high school how to market you know, how to push that business, you know, properly so that it becomes successful. <laughs> Smart ass. 
No, like that's the one thing I just don't get is why is it that schools don't offer, you know, business and, you know, marketing and how to buy a house? Like, I just don't get it. Like, do they not realize that if they were to teach some of that or even all of that, do you know how successful a lot of people with business would actually, you know, be? Like, it's stupid. Like, I literally have had to been learning on my own. Like, I've had to look it up and research it on my own how to market properly. And it's, it's hard, but it's not easy, but it's also good. I mean, yeah, some schools do offer it, but mine never did, which sucks. If you guys are wondering, yes, I'm actually out in my living room. Like I said, I'm sitting here watching Dexter's Lab on the TV while I'm talking to you guys. Like, it's it's legit. Like, it's stupid. Like, I really do think that there needs to be a change in the school system. I really do. Like, if they were to teach kids, you know, the basics, like, you know, how to buy a house, how to pay bills, how to make, you know, smart investments, how to run a business, how to market that business, you know, how to keep customers coming back, you know, how, do you realize how successful both my shops would have been? If they would have taught me that, like, I would have, you know, been able to market it and been making a steady income with people buying, like, every day. Like, it's it's stupid, like, legit. Like, I really do feel like there needs to be a change in the school system when it comes to that. Like, they need to start teaching these classes. Like, I'm literally been for the last three days, like, literally studying videos off of YouTube. I've been reading up on it, like, how to do it myself. And, you know, it's, it sucks because I never had the luxury of having business classes taught. Because in my schools here, you have to have a certain GPA just to be able to do that. They do have the classes, but... You have to have a certain, you know, GPA to be able to take those classes, which I think is really unfair. Like, you shouldn't have to have a certain GPA just to learn business. Anybody can learn business. Anybody. You just got to be able to put your mind to it, which had they taught me that stuff in high school, I wouldn't be sitting here talking about it. I would actually be a successful store owner. I'd be a successful, you know, music artist. Like, you know, it's it's ridiculous. Like, schools need to start opening up with their eyes because a lot of those people that you don't think are, you know, business smart or are going to start up a business, a lot of those people tend out to be the ones that are going to start businesses. Like, 10 years ago, I didn't think I was going to start up my own clothing line. I didn't think I was going to, you know, jump right into music. But yet, here I am 10 years later. Believe it or not, dude, here it's different. Like, here in Ohio, the GPA thing is different. Like, you do have to have a certain GPA for, you know, not only for sports, but you also have to have it for certain classes like business and all that. I know it's it's stupid, but that's how the system here works. It's really fucked up. Like, it really is. Like, it's it's stupid. Like, it really is freaking, it's dumb. Hey, what up, Corey? 
And if you guys don't know, my best friend Corey, he's literally my childhood best friend. I grew up with this man. He's like legit family. So what's up, Corey? What's going on, bro? How you been, buddy? But like, you know, it's stupid. Oh, damn. Like, it really is stupid because, you know, schools nowadays just don't give a shit about whether you're successful or not. Like, here, there are more failures and more dropouts than there are successful students. And if you guys are wondering why I'm drinking all for once, it's not coffee, it's actually hot green tea to help with this fucking cold that I got. So, love Lipton's green tea, they got some good shit, love it. But that's my thing, though, is, like, why is it that schools are not teaching this stuff? Like, a lot of the kids that you don't think would start businesses, like myself, usually wind up doing that. Like, I literally have two shops open up. I have one that, you know, is for my custom clothing line. And, you know, my team that I do still drift with, Extreme Speeds, I have the team shirt on there along with everything else. And then I have my new clothing line that I'm starting up called League 73 for mine and my best friend Devin's um, gaming team. As well as a regular custom clothing line. Because I'm turning League 73 not only into a gaming-based clothing line, but just a clothing line in general. And I feel like if schools were to teach this stuff, there would be a lot more successful people out there than what there are. I really do. Hey, Gunny, what's up, dude? Hey, Jamie, what's up, dude? Hey, Jeremy, what's going on, buddy? It's been a while, man. But, like, I really do feel like if they were to teach this stuff, there'd be a lot more successful students out there. Like, you wouldn't have so many kids, you know, turning to drugs, to alcohol, to the streets. Like, these kids that want to start businesses, the only reason why they turn to you know, the streets and do all that stuff is because of the fact that they weren't given the proper skills that they need to be able to survive and fend for themselves. Like, I really do feel like there does need to be a change in the system. I really and truly do. Because if there's a change in the system and we can make a change to where students can start getting that, you know, every day, you know, all these business skills, you know, instead of cutting out, like, sports and shit, you know, sports is important. I will admit. Because I was on the baseball team at North for a while, but then they wound up shutting down the team because of funding. Because the schools thought it'd be more important to invest in some bullshit than, you know... Akron's first baseball team for high school. And I was on that team, and I was doing pretty damn good. Like, my coach even asked me who, because my coach is actually my um, reading teacher for freshman year. So I was talking to him, and he was like, dude, you've got a good arm. Like, why don't you join the team? And I was like, why do you think I'm here? And yes, I tried out for the team, and I actually made the team. And we were supposed to have our first game that following week. But then come to find out the school board decided to say, fuck you, we're shutting down North's baseball team. Because we'd rather invest in some bullshit class that nobody needs rather than to invest in a winning, solid baseball team. And through that, I would have been able to, you know, go to college. I would have been able to, 
you know, do the sport that I truly love, that I grew up on, that I grew up playing as a kid. But, you know, like, it's stupid that schools just are not teaching this. Like, they think, oh, like, half these kids are going to fail anyway, so why even bother, you know, teaching it? Well, my answer to that is, those kids that you think are going to fail in business, they're the ones that are more than likely going to succeed and excel in that. Like, if I would have had those classes, my both my stores would be bringing in a steady income and making a shit ton of revenue every day. Like, I'd have thousands and thousands of customers coming in every day if I was taught those classes. Like, I really do feel like we do need to make a change in the school system. And, you know, get these kids the classes that they need. Like, don't just sit there and teach it, like, here and there. Teach it every freaking day. You know, help these kids out. You know, teach them how to, you know, buy a house. Teach them how to make a steady income off their own business. Teach them how to run a business, you know, properly and to for that business to be successful. You know, teach them how to buy stocks and, you know, what a smart investment will be. Help them make those decisions. Instead of sitting here wasting, you know, stupid time that doesn't need to be wasted on classes that you'll never use in the real world like history and all that or science well i will i would say science but some students do go on to be scientists but like you have all these fucking classes that you don't need you know like social studies like History, well, social studies is important. But like, in all of that, a lot of the classes that they teach are important, but they're not as important as, you know, teaching a person how to survive in the real world. Like, that's my thing. Like, start teaching these kids the techniques and the skills that they need to be successful in life. Like, you know, like I said, I was never taught those skills. I was never taught, you know, how to be successful in marketing. I was never taught business. I was never taught how to, you know, run things properly. So I kind of have had to do it on my own. I've been promoting my shit on my own. I've been doing everything on my own. And I'm lucky if I get one to two people checking out my stuff a day. And the reason for that is because of the fact that I was not taught the proper business skills that I need. Like, I really do feel like there does need to be a change. Like, what happened to teaching kids, you know, like how to teach a kid how to get out of debt? When they're huge in debt, like, how do you get out of that when you don't know how? How do you run a business? How do you market that business? How do you promote that business in a successful manner that makes you a successful business owner? Like, how do you do that? That's a lot of these questions. That's a lot of the questions that a lot of these students have. Because let me tell you something, 90% of the students, especially here, they either go on to become music artists, drug dealers, or dropouts who don't give a shit because they weren't given the necessary skills. And personally, I think it's bullshit. I really do. Like, if you guys have seen the video for Don't Stay in School by one of my personal favorites called Boy in a Band, 
Like, he's completely right. Like, what happened to a lot of these classes? He talks about in the song, Don't Stay in School. And if you don't know the song, I will actually play it for you right now so you guys can hear it. Oh, I guess we just gotta wait for this ad. You know how hey, Sage, Doug, what's up, guys? Faster adventures. Meet your new partner in crime. Hey, Google, play Mickey Mouse Adventure. Hell yeah, help me. You know it. Hot dog. I knew I could count on you. Family time. Like only Google can. All right, here we go, guys. I'm about to play for you right now. I wasn't taught how to get a job, but I can remember dissecting a frog. I wasn't taught how to pay tax, but I know loads about Shakespeare's classics. I was never taught how to vote, they devoted that time to defining isotopes. I wasn't taught how to look after my health, but mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Never spent a lesson on current events. Instead, I studied the old American West. I was never taught what laws there are. I was never taught what laws there are. Let me repeat, I was not taught the laws for the country I live in. But I know how Henry VIII killed his women. Divorce beheaded died. Divorce beheaded survived. Glad that's in my head instead of financial advice. I was shown the wavelengths of different hues of light. But I was never taught my human rights. Apparently, there's 30. Do you know them? I don't. Why the hell can't we both recite them? By won't I know? Igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary Box, yet I don't know squat about trading stocks or how money works at all. Where does it come from? How does the thing that motivates the world function? I'm not taught to budget and disperse my earnings. I was too busy there rehearsing cursive. Didn't learn how much it cost to raise a kid and what an affidavit is. But I spent days on what the quadratic equation is. Negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. They made me learn that over basic first aid or how to recognize the most deadly mental disorders or diseases with preventable causes or how to buy a house with a mortgage if I could afford it because abstract maths was deemed more important than advice that would literally save thousands of lives but it's cool because now I could tell you if the number of unnecessary deaths caused by that choice was prime never taught present-day practical medicines but I was told what the ancient Hippocratic method is I've got a headache the pain is ceaseless what should I take um maybe try some leeches could we discuss domestic abuse and get the facts or how to help my depressed friend with a mental state um, no, but learn mental maths because you won't have a calculator with you every day. They say it's not the kids, the parents are the problem. Then if you taught the kids to play, yeah. that's the problem solved then. Or this advice about yeah. using a condom, but not for when you actually have a kid when you want right. one. I'm only fluent in this language for serious. The rest of the world speaks to me. I'm an idiot to choose the solo over the political system. So, like a typical citizen, now I don't know what I'm voting on, which policies exist or how to make them change me. We use the button for the process. So at 18, I was expected to elect a representative from a system I had never, ever, ever been presented with. But I won't take it. I'll tell everyone my childhood was wasted. I'll stare at everywhere how I was educated and insist these pointless things don't stay in the dog out. But there you have it, guys. That was boy and band. Today's magic number is gonna be the number nine. Mm. Nine. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had to delete this or close this out. But there you have it, guys. That was boy and band. Oh, I'm sorry that I had to let the dog out. Give me just one minute. Go pie. Sorry about that, guys. The dog likes to stand on the porch and not do anything. He just likes to stand there. So I had to yell at him to, you know, go.
But that was, if you guys don't know the name of the song, this song is called um, Don't Stay in School by a boy in a band. And honestly, in my opinion, he's right. Like, what happened to teaching this stuff? Like, I really do feel like this, there needs to be a change. And, you know, we need to start, you know, saying, hey, you know, like, you know, we need to be learning this, like, every day. Instead of learning all this bullshit crap classes that we don't need, we need to start learning, you know, all the basics on how to survive. Like, you know, that's my thing. Like, why are we not being taught this stuff? And they wonder why there's more dropouts and failures than there are successes. This is exactly why. Because these schools do not give a shit. Because it's like they, it's almost like they want to see us fail, to be honest with you. That's what I feel. I feel like they want to see us fail. They don't want us to be successful and if they do they don't show it it's like they want us to learn it on our own time like back in high school you know the one thing i did do on my own time that actually impressed a lot of my teachers was learning another language which was japanese because as you guys know i'm very big and huge on the japanese culture the way of life the language you know, I'm very huge on that because, you know, I do have friends that live over there. So, like, you know, it's, it's really interesting to me. Like, the Japanese culture is like, it's so diverse because, you know, a lot of their old school styles, like a lot of the ancient ways of life still exist to this day. Like, the way of the samurai still exists to this day. Like, the, you know, the ancient practices that they used during those time periods still exist. And they coexist with the modern world. And you don't see that very often. Which I think is, that's like one thing that's like very interesting to me is to see, you know, an ancient way of life coexisting with today's modern society. Like, I really do find that very, very interesting. I really do. But uh, what I will do, guys, is I will post the link to, you know, that song that you guys just heard. I will post that in the description so you don't want to let the dog in. Like, you know, I really do feel like it's ridiculous. Sorry about that, guys. I have a power cord. Because this thing stays... If you guys didn't know, if you guys do or are thinking about a Chromebook, I definitely suggest doing it. Because I found out you can um, dev mode it, with, which developer mode it, which allows you for, you know, outsource stuff that you normally can't download. Like, that's how I got the game Ocean Horn in full version on here. Was through going into developer mode. But like I said, guys, I will be posting the link to that song if you guys want to watch it. Um, if you are in school and you are or did hear about it, um, I am going to be posting the link to that song. Um, and if you are in school, I definitely want you guys to share that song around. Like, share that video around, like, everywhere. Share it with your teachers, your friends, your principal. You know, share it with the school board. Hmm. Like, show it to people and make them see, hey, you know, like, this is a serious issue. This is something that needs to be addressed. This is something that needs to be changed.
So give me just a minute. I'm going to go in. Believe it or not, dude, a lot of schools do. Like here they do offer um they do offer car classes like um freaking the one that I was in, which is auto body, they teach you how to fabricate, paint, they teach you how to do all that. They do offer classes on, you know, you know, maintenance, building an engine, taking apart an engine, how to you know, do all that. So a lot of schools do teach that, especially here. I was fortunate enough to be able to take auto body class. So you hand me a tack welding torch and a metal in the right setup. I can fabricate pretty much any, you know, body kit that you want. Because I've done that before. Even though I did not pass class, I know enough to be able to, you know, do that. But I am going to post the link to that video that you guys, to that song that you guys just heard. And it's going to, into the chat right now. So I highly suggest, you know, clicking on that link, checking out that video. He's got a very good point. Like, why aren't classes being taught about this stuff? Like, you know, like, you give me, like, like I said, you know, I do know how to, you know, fabricate parts. Like, you give me a bumper that needs repaired, you know, I can do that. You want a custom body kit? Hey, I'm there. You need a custom spoiler or a custom hood? Let me know. You need a new quarter panel or a new um, quarter panel? Hey, I'm there. But, you know, that's, like, really the only useful class I was taught. And the reason why I didn't pass that class is because I was taken out because of a bunch of idiots bullying me. They wouldn't stop, so they felt the only way to take care of it was to remove me from that class, which wasn't very fair because had I been able to pass that class, and if they would have left me in there and removed the problem, Hell, I might even have a job doing fabrication work for a huge car company. Hell, I might even be able to come up with a brand new car design that would have been successful. And so, I mean, it does suck. It really does. Exactly. That's kind of what I took, dude. Like the total body work on, you know, how to fix bodies, how to, you know, repair certain issues, how to take care of, like, let's say part of your bumper is missing. Like I can take the measurements and I can do a custom weld around that. Like not that hard to do. Simple. See, I never did learn how to do the suspension. We were actually going, just going into that when I was, you know, removed from the class. We were just going in there on how to, you know, custom weld springs and all that, which sucks. Because I do know that, as you guys know, some cars, like the older models, they do have metal springs and coils. We were just going into how to make those, how to repair them, all that stuff. But, like, I do know enough to be able to, you know, get by. And, you know, what's sad is I was really the only person in that class that really, you know, did anything. Like, all the other kids would fucking goof around in the computer office and, you know, just fuck around. Where I was sitting down 
while those kids were doing that, I was a kid that was sitting there busting his ass helping friends on their cars because I used to have a buddy that used to do professional drag racing. Or he might still do it. I don't know. But he'd bring his car in almost every other week and would need like a new quarter panel or something new on it. Or part of his bumper would get rusted from the rain because he didn't have a garage. So it literally just sat there in the rain in his driveway. So a lot of times he'd bring it in with a lot of rust spots on the hood, on the fenders, all that. So I would have to, you know, sit there and repair a lot of it. So, you know, it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, had I passed the class, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Like, had I learned business and marketing the proper way instead of having to learn on my own, I'd probably be more successful than I am now. I'd be able to market my music properly. I'd be able to market my shops properly and make a living out of what I love to do, which is, you know, to create music for you guys that I know you guys love and to create a custom clothing line that's unique and diverse from any other clothing line out there. So I really do feel like, you know, if school started teaching this, you wouldn't have half the issues that you have. Granted, I took current events and stuff like that. I took... um what do you call it? Um, social economics classes, which didn't really come in handy because I had an asshole for a teacher, so I wasn't really able to learn anything from it. Because he was a complete dick. So, you know, like I said, guys, if you do agree on this, pass this video around and also pass that song by boy in a band over there in the comments it's called don't stay in school it's literally the first video on the youtube list or if you guys have a way to put it on like a disc and take it to school with you you know pop it in you know show your teachers Show your principal, show the school, or show people. This needs to be out there. There needs to be a change because people don't realize that this new generation of kids is the future. When we're dead and gone, what's going to happen to them? How are they going to survive? How are they going to live? Like, How are they going to be able to support themselves and be a successful business owner or a successful... You know, music artist, a successful, you know, person who knows how to sell, trade, and market stocks. Like, you know, how are they going to buy a house? How are they going to take care of mortgages? How are they going to, you know, get themselves out of debt when they get into debt? How are they going to pay bills? How are they going to survive? These are all questions that need to be answered and the only way to answer that is through these classes that they need to be teaching like this is serious stuff because as I said had I been offered these classes I'd be making a steady income every day I'd be making sales every day but instead I'm stuck here pushing my work, and very few people buying my stuff. And that's because I was not taught these skills, which is not fair to me. It's not fair to you guys, because I know a lot of you guys like my work and you want to buy my merchandise, which I'm very thankful for. But like I said, guys, this has been Chance. If you did like this video, please share it around. You know, get people involved. Get your family involved. Get 
you know, your teachers, your friends, get your neighbors, get everybody you can involved in this. Because we do need to make a change in these school systems. And, you know, like I said, you know, share this video with them. Share that song by Boyne and Van called Don't Stay in School. Like, share that with them. You know, pass that around. Make them see, hey, you know, there needs to be a change. We need to be taught this stuff. Like, how are we going to survive when, you know, like, how are you going to survive when you don't have any money? Like, how are you going to make in a life? Like, you know, why they need to be taught, you know, why you need to put your money in a bank, why you need to let it draw interest, you know, how to run a successful business in general. I was never, you know, offered that in school because of my GPA, because I wasn't, you know, I wasn't that kid that was super, super smart. Hey, Stephanie, what's up? Like, you know, I was never offered that opportunity, which I think is unfair. Because let me tell you something, here in Ohio, there are more, and I mean no offense by this to anybody at all. I really don't. I'm just speaking on statistics that are very real here in Ohio. But there are more. Um, you know, African Americans graduating from here than there are white people. And don't feel bad, Steph. I'm sick too, so don't feel bad. And, you know, and it's sad, but it's true. And the reason why I know that, because I had my diploma ripped away from me. Even though I had all my credits, I had my diploma ripped away from me because I'm white. Because I'm not African American. And the reason why I know that, because I found out from a good friend that went to that same school previously, that the principal, that the principal there at the school that I was supposed to graduate from was racist. She could not stand white people. Because one of her ancestors was a slave to a white person way, way, way back when. Saying, so, you know, oh, that's, it's kind of an unfair thing. You know, they are allowing certain students to graduate, but they're, they're making it to where others don't graduate. And they're making it to where other students like myself do drop out. Because of this unfair issue. Like something that you guys might not know about me. I was supposed to go to college right out of high school. I was supposed to go to Musicians Institute out in California. Which would have helped me focus strictly on my music. And they don't bullshit around about classes you don't need. They help you focus on, you know, stuff like music theory. They help you, you know, develop your skills. They help you, you know, become a successful artist. They help you become a successful band. They teach you how to film a music video. They teach you filmography. They teach you all that stuff. And the day I was, the day before I was supposed to graduate, I had just gotten my acceptance letter into that school. I just got the acceptance letter was supposed to go. And all because the schools decided to lose one piece of paper, I was not able to graduate. And here in order, in, in Ohio, in order to, you know, get your, um, what you call your your GED, you have to pay for the classes, and those classes are sadly expensive. I mean, would I like to get my GED? 
Yeah, but honestly, to me, you know, getting your GED is nothing like getting your diploma because I wanted to be able to walk the stage with my class and my friends. But unfortunately, I was not able to. And that's a very big reason as to why I can't, you know, get a regular job on top of, you know, me going to jail back in 2012, which a lot of you already know about. You know, because of those two things, I wasn't able to, you know, do the stuff in life that I wanted to do, really. But like I said, guys, if you guys did like this video, you know, share it around to everybody you know. Um, and definitely share around that video. If you guys want the name of it, it's called Don't Stay in School by Boy in a Band. You know, like I said, share that with everybody, man. Like, share it with your teachers, your friends, your parents, your family. Share it with your neighbors, people you don't know. You know, get that video out there. Like, we do need to be making this issue known. Like, this is a very serious issue. And it needs to be taken care of. These classes need to be taught. These bullshit classes that they're teaching us, like science. They need to be replaced with, you know, classes like how to run a business, how to market things, you know, how to buy a house with a mortgage. A lot of these classes that are useless need to be replaced. But that means that guys, there's a chance if you guys did agree with this video or did like it, Hit that like button. Share it around, please. I want this video to go huge as much as possible because this is a very serious issue. It needs to be dealt with and fast. And again, guys, if you guys want to know the name of that song, it's called Don't Stay in School by Boy in a Band. And Boy in a Band is definitely one of my personal favorites. He's... You know, he's a huge artist, you know, one of my personal favorites. And I will play that song for you guys one more time. Hey, Sarah, what's up? So I will play that song for you guys one last time. That way you guys can hear just what it is that he's talking about and what I'm talking about. And let me know if you guys can hear it. But I can remember dissecting a frog. I wasn't taught how to pay tax. But I know loads about Shakespeare's classics. I was never taught how to vote. They devoted that time to defining isotopes. I wasn't taught how to look after my health. But mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Never spent a lesson on current events. Instead, I studied the old American West. I was never taught what laws there are. I was never taught what laws there are. Let me repeat, I was not taught the laws for the country I live in. But I know how Henry VIII killed his women. Divorce, beheaded, died. Divorce, beheaded, survived. Glad that's in my head instead of financial advice. I was shown the wavelengths of different hues of light. But I was never taught my human rights. Apparently, there's 30. Do you know them? I don't. Why the hell can't we both recite them? By won't I know? Igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary box yet i don't know squat about trading stocks or how money works at all where does it come from how does the thing that motivates the world function it's not all to budget and disperse my earnings i was too busy there rehearsing curse it didn't learn how much it cost to raise a kid and what an affidavit is but i spent days on what the quadratic equation is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a that's insane that's absolutely insane they maybe learned that over basic first aid or how to recognize the most deadly mental disorders or diseases with preventable causes or how to buy a house with a mortgage if I could afford it because abstract maths was deemed more important than advice that would literally save thousands of lives but it's cool because now I could tell you if the number of unnecessary deaths caused by that choice was prime never thought present-day practical medicines but I was told what the ancient Hippocratic method is I've got a headache the pain is ceaseless what should I take um maybe try some leeches could we discuss domestic abuse and get the facts or how to help my depressed friend with the mental state 
Um, no. But learn mental maths, because you won't have a calculator with you every day. They say it's not the kids, the parents are the problem. Then if you taught the kids to parent, that's the problem solved then. All this advice about using a condom, but not for when you actually have a kid when you want one. I'm only fluent in this language, for serious, the rest of the world speaks too. Do you think I'm an idiot? It goes the solo over the political system, so like a typical citizen, now I don't know what I'm voting on. Which policies exist or how to make them change me? We je parle un peu de français. So at 18 I was expected to elect a representative from a system I had never ever ever been presented with But I won't take it, I'll tell everyone my childhood was wasted I'll share it everywhere how I was educated And insist these pointless things don't stay in school And there you have it, guys. That, again, if you guys did not catch what I was talking about in the beginning, that song is called Don't Stay in School by Boy and Bam. Um, I am going to be posting the link again in the comments for you guys to check out if you have not checked it out. And there you have it, guys. It's in the comments over there. And hey, what's up, Mark? How you doing, buddy? And hey, Sarah, again, how are you? I'm sorry if I didn't catch you earlier. What's up? But let me know in the comments if you guys can hear these. But, you know, like, he's completely, completely right. Like, we do need to make a change. And that change needs to start now with these schools. Instead of teaching useless fucking classes, we need to start teaching kids how to survive on their own, how to parent, how to, you know, buy a house, you know, how to deal with debt. You know, we start needing, we need to start teaching useful classes like this like these ones that he mentioned off instead of these bullshit classes like granted right, cursive is a, a useful class because you know like you do need it like if you're signing an important paper or something like that that's useful math up through multiplication and division that's all you really need you don't need fucking algebra or calculus. You don't need that shit because that shit's useless. It's stupid. So let me tell you something. I took algebra back in high school and do I use algebra nowadays? <laughs> not even. Like, why not teach us the basic stuff like, you know, addition, subtraction, fractions, multiplication? You know, the basic stuff. We don't need all this advanced math bullshit. Because I'll tell you something, 90% of students nowadays are not going to use it in the real world. 90% of students nowadays are not going to become scientists. They're not going to go into biology. A lot of these students want to start their own businesses. And in order for that to happen, we need to start teaching them how to, you know, do that. A lot of these students want to buy and trade and sell stocks so that they can be wealthy, so that they can get by. But are we being taught that? No. They're making us learn it on our own time, which I think is very unfair. We need to start making a change, people. And that change needs to start right now. We need to start raising some hell. We need to start making some noise. Like, this shit needs to be dealt with. It's a very serious matter. With that being said, guys, this is a chance. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, start spreading it around like wildfire. Like, I want everybody, and I mean everybody you know, to see this. I want everybody to see that song that I played for you guys. The video's there. 
in the comments, pass it around, share it with everybody you know, share it with your kids, have them share it with their teachers and their principals, and have their principals share with the school boards in your state and your city. But with that being said, guys, I've got to get back to work because I'm sitting here trying to come up with some new designs for you guys for my Ray John shop and for my Cafe Press shop. Um, I am going to be setting up a website for both shops as well, so be on the lookout for that. Hey, Jordan, what's up, dude? But like I say, guys, this is a very serious issue that needs to be dealt with. We need to start being taught this stuff. We need to start. We need to start being taught these classes. Like it's ridiculous, because I don't want another student to end up like I did when I was in high school. I really don't. But with that being said, guys. Help me out with this. Share this video around. Let's make a change. Because let me tell you guys, the more people we get viewing this live stream, the more shares we get, the more comments I get, the more views we get on that song called Don't Stay in School. You know, the more successful people there will, that there will be in the future. And to end it off, I am going to be playing that song one last time for those of you that are just now catching the live stream. I know I've played it like three times already, but just one last time so you guys know how serious it is. Hey, Robert. What's up, buddy? How come they don't teach us all the important stuff in school? How come they leave that out? They don't teach us a... And here you go, one last time called Don't Stay in School for those of you who I missed. I wasn't taught how to get a job, but I can remember dissecting a frog. I wasn't taught how to pay tax. But I know loads about Shakespeare's classics. I was never taught how to vote. They devoted that time to defining isotopes. I wasn't taught how to look after my health. But mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Never spent a lesson on current events. Instead, I studied the old American West. I was never taught what laws there are. I was never taught what laws there are. Let me repeat, I was not taught the laws for the country I live in. But I know how Henry VIII killed his women. Divorced, beheaded, died. Divorced, beheaded, survived. Glad that's in my head instead of financial advice. I was shown the wavelengths of different hues of light. But I was never taught my human rights. Apparently, there's 30. Do you know them? I don't. Why the hell can't we both recite them by rote? I know igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary Box, yet I don't know squat about trading stocks or how money works at all. Where does it come from? How does the thing that motivates the world function? It's not all to budget and disperse my earnings. I was too busy there rehearsing cursive. Didn't learn how much it cost to raise a kid and what an affidavit is. But I spent days on what the quadratic equation is. Second to B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. They maybe learned that over basic first aid or how to recognize the most deadly mental disorders or diseases with preventable causes or how to buy a house with a mortgage if I could afford it because abstract maths was deemed more important than advice that would literally save thousands of lives but it's cool because now I could tell you if the number of unnecessary deaths caused by that choice was prime never taught present day practical medicines but I was told what the ancient Hippocratic method is I've got a headache the pain is ceaseless what should I take um maybe try some leeches could we discuss domestic abuse and get the facts or how to help my depressed friend with a mental state um no but learn mental maths because you won't have a calculator with you every day they say it's not the kids the parents are the problem then if you taught the kids to parents that's the problem solved then All this advice about using a condom But not for when you actually have a kid when you want one I'm only fluent in this language For serious, the rest of the world speaks too Do you think I'm an idiot? He chose the solo over the political system So like a typical citizen Now I don't know what I'm voting on Which policies exist or how to make them change Mais oui, je parle un peu de français
Yes, I'm an 18, I was expected to elect a representative from a system I have never, ever, ever been presented with. But I won't take it. I'll tell everyone my childhood was wasted. I'll share it everywhere how I was educated. And insist these pointless things don't stay in school. Alright, there you have it, guys. That was the song called Don't Stay in School. Um, this song is actually in the comments right there twice for you guys to check out and spread around and watch. Like I said, guys, just, you know, share this video around. Like, let people know about this. Like, there needs to be a change, man.